Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome to our next video and to our next lecture from our course on how to use Amazon Video Direct to sell your videos into its huge marketplace. Uh, now let's uh, let's dive into the actual information because this will be a short lecture. I want to show you guys what uh, price options you have, what choices uh, can you make in order to monetize your content and your video. Uh, practically it works the same for any type of the free types of videos that you have. So we will practically go into my standalone product that I have just created and I am waiting for to be approved by Amazon. And when you will actually go into your product that you have created, uh, the price options and where you want to distribute it all around the world uh, is in the section called availability. So you go here in the section and the first thing that you can choose here is either if you have rights for this video to be distributed worldwide and sold by Amazon worldwide or only in a certain country or region. Obviously in my case it was all worldwide but an example of a type of video that could only be distributed in a certain country would be if you have distribution rights or copyrights for a video that it's created in Deutschland only for Deutschland, Deutschland that means Germany and uh, practically you can select uh, it to be available only for Germany okay then you have the option of how will Amazon customers watch this video because you will you have different types of monetization for your content which actually is very very cool so first of all you can make it available and you can check this uh, this small box here for Prime users. A lot of Amazon buyers and customers have Amazon Prime and you can make it first of all included with Prime. That's a must have. Then for short standalone videos like the one I have just created, you can practically let people watch the video for free but you will make money out of ads because a lot of people will watch the video. You will actually make some money out of ads. Okay, Just like you are making with Google AdSense on a website or on YouTube. Then you have the option to rent your video for a smaller price so people can just take it for a couple of days or 30 days and pay you a lesser price than they would buy it. Then you have the option to buy, okay, to offer people the product to buy and have a lifetime access to it. And subscription, if, um, if people practically, practically opt in for a subscription model, but this is only for US based. So I've let these four options here. And then we have the pricing model that you want to use. You have a preset pricing that is created by Amazon. I would recommend you to start with this because they know better uh, what type of prices their customers uh, will actually give the money for. And they already have statistics and that and tracking and they know better what type of price should, uh, should you put on your video. But if you have a certain price in your mind, you can go for custom pricing and you can set everything up. Obviously, you see here you have for the rent model, okay? And you have for the buying model, okay? So you have, uh, you can set your price for each of the countries for rent or buy. I will let the preset pricing because I think they know best uh, what, what, type of, uh, what type of price brings in the best results. So we have the base type of pricing which is best for balancing cost with wide audience appeal or value best for older or back catalog videos. If you have an older video okay, or back catalog, obviously they will offer it at a lower cost if you will have a look at that. So these are, um, these are the options that you have. Uh, obviously, I would suggest you would start with preset pricing. With custom pricing, you can set a lower price or a higher price if you want to. Probably a lot of you guys will start with lower prices maybe if you will have very short movies or tutorials and for your whole courses that will be a web series and the, in the episodic type of videos section you will have higher prices. So that's about it guys. Then you will have the option when should this video be available as soon as possible on a specific date or you have other advanced options. I selected as soon as possible that means after it's approved it will already be available. Now the thing is this, uh, when you practically launch not a standalone video that is for free but a video that people can buy or rent, 
it will take some time for Amazon to approve it. Okay, for example, when you launch your course that you want people to buy or to rent, it can even take up to three or four weeks uh, for Amazon to approve it because uh, there are a lot of videos in the approval process right now. So this will be oh, this will be a period of time that you actually uh, have to wait in because uh, you you don't have anything to do else with this. Okay, there is no other way uh, around it because Amazon has to review your video and say, okay, it's uh, it's okay, it's high quality. We can set it on our platform. But uh, that's uh, that's a minor problem compared to the big advantages that the platform offers. So you'll have to wait three or four weeks for their approval. If you select it for free only with pre-roll ads, so you won't actually sell it, it will be approved much, much faster, maybe in a couple of days, a week tops or something like that. And you can start making money with the ads. So these are the price options that you have. This is the choices that you can make. And I've told you my recommendations. It's up to you however you want to sell your videos or to monetize them. I hope this was helpful for you as information and I am looking forward to see you in our next video. Thank you for your attention. Bye bye for now.